It's a very basic question. The difference between the NCA process and the bar exams. These are completely different steps that you need to take in order to re-qualify as a lawyer in Canada. You can't pick and choose either of them. You have to do both of them. So you have to go through the NCA process and then you have to write the bar exams. So the difference between the two, just to summarize, is that the NCA process is the first step and once you complete the NCA process, that is when you can write the bar exam for the province that you want to practice in. So two completely different things. In this video, I'm gonna talk first about the NCA process and how it relates to the bar exams and explain to you what are the steps and important things that you need to consider while you're in the process from the NCAs to the bar exams. The NCA process, meaning the NCA exams. NCA means National Committee on Accreditation. A committee which assesses foreign legal credentials and will assess and provide you with a report stating that, you know, there's certain exams that you need to write in order to make sure that you are skilled enough or you have the same level of knowledge and as someone who graduated from a Canadian university, which is JD students. So you may hear me uh, use these terms, but I but I just like to clarify what all of this means. So the NCA exams are primarily for you to be at a point similar to a Canadian law school graduate. It is not a degree, it is not a diploma, it is not a certificate per se, but it is primarily just a, it is a certificate which, which shows that you are equivalent to a Canadian law school graduate, uh, but it's not a degree per se. So people who ask, can I get a study permit? if I would like to write the NCA exams? The answer is no, because it's not, the, the NCA is not a designated learning institution. It's, they don't, it's not a school, it's not a university. So it's just a process for them to assess your foreign legal credentials. So that is the first step, is to write the NCA exams, make sure that you pass the NCA exams, and then once you are done, the National Committee on Accreditation will issue you a certificate saying that, you know, now you have completed all the requirements and we believe that you are equivalent to a Canadian law school graduate. So essentially, it's like graduating from a Canadian law school. You're at that point. You're not a lawyer yet. You're just at a point where you kind of finish law school in Canada. People ask, what are the bar exams? Once you complete the NCA exams, that is only when you can register to write the bar exams in the province that you want to practice in. In Canada, you can only practice in, a, in the province that you're licensed in. So for example, I am licensed to practice law in Ontario. I cannot practice law in any other province. I can't practice in British Columbia, I can't practice in Alberta. So if, if I wanted to do that, I have to write the Alberta bar exams again, or I'm gonna have to do BC bar exams if I want to do that. I don't think that I want to do that anymore, but if in the future, that's what I have to do. But to get back to the question, once you complete the NCA exams, you have to register with the Law Society and then you will write the bar exams. So like I said, you can't write the bar exams just because you have a foreign law degree. You have to go through the NCA process, the first step, in order to qualify for the next step, which is the bar exams. Now the bar exams are essentially called licensing exams in Canada. There are two different licensing exams, the barrister exam and the solicitor exam. 
both the exams, you, you have to write both of the exams in order to be a lawyer in Canada. You can't pick and choose. I think I've sort of said that previously as well. Now, this is these exams are primarily to assess your knowledge about different areas of the law. Um, and these areas could be anywhere between family law, criminal law, generally speaking, different types of areas. And the syllabus is a lot more than what you would see on the NCA exams. The books are like a thousand pages per exam. So the difference in studying is also something to keep in mind because the bar exams are extensive. You have to make sure that you understand a lot of different things. It's, it's, it's a whole different skill set, which I have talked about in one of my previous videos if you wanted to take a look at it. The NCA exams are more of like essay-based questions. The bar exams are more like multiple choice questions. Sometimes people think that because it's multiple choice questions, it's a lot easier. That's not the case. You still have to study. You still have to make sure you understand the materials. And you still need to do, you, you need to still put in a lot of work for, for the bar exams. So the difference, again, like I said, once you complete the bar exams, that is when you qualify to be licensed in, a, in the province that you want to be licensed in. Um, you have to article, those are different things, which I'm not going to cover in this video, but it, these are two different things, two different set of exams, completely different patterns, completely different timelines. Um, and you have to do both of them as a foreign chain lawyer in order to re-qualify as a lawyer in Canada. I so also want to share my experience. I felt that the NCA exams were a bit more easier for me because I got my law degree from a common law jurisdiction and I already knew the skill to answer questions based of common law background. So for me, the NCA exams were a bit easier to comprehend, to understand, because it was a lot similar to what I had studied before. The bar exams, on the other hand, were a lot difficult for me because I'm not used to multiple choice questions. I wasn't used to understanding the material in a way where you have to actually know little things like timelines and name of courts like it was a lot of like little details that you had to know and 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 kind of look at during the exam and also time management was something that I struggled with during, uh, for, for the bar exams as well but my experience with both of them you know I think I learned a lot more about Canadian law when I studied the bar exams because there's a lot and I I studied a lot for it, so I think in terms of my knowledge, it was good, but in terms of level of difficulty, the NC exams were a bit easier compared to the licensing exams.